My name is Wei Xiong. Currently, I'm an associate professor at the University of Pittsburgh. My research is focusing on materials design based on the fundamentals of physical metallurgy. Really trying to bridge the fundamentals of material science and application for the engineering. So basically, we care about both materials design and materials discovery. We care about the materials composition, how it will be associated with different type of processing, and then different type of processing techniques will generate different configuration of the microstructure. And then eventually you have to care about the consequence of the materials properties. So if you're talking about design, then the design will come in backward. So you need to understand what is the requirement target for the properties and going back to the microstructure configuration. And then we can better identify what are the proper composition associated with the processing for such a kind of need. So microstructure is the key. We focus on the microstructure and try to understand the relationship between the processing microstructure as well as microstructure and properties. Ensure we get the best performance of the materials. Uh, we do both experiment and simulation. Once I started my lab, uh, some people told me that I couldn't do both simply because this is too complicated and takes a lot of time to establish a lab. However, I do see the advantages. Different people may have uh, different uh, skill sets in the beginning. Some of the students were going to the lab to do characterization of the materials and then testing all of this mechanical performance. Other students were focused more on the computation. They were going to develop their own software code and predicting all of this microstructure and the properties. And certainly this will create a lot of opportunities for the student to study, learn and grow. Our project fall under three different categories. The first category, we're talking about fundamental model development, try to predict materials microstructure and the property as best as we could. The second one uh, will be interested about high support experiments and computation. So we are going to generate a lot of data and then utilizing the data, we can do some even machine learning work. The third one was materials fabrication and manufacturing. For example, we do a lot of projects with 3D printing and then we do the materials microstructure and uh, mechanical testing. Once we do a lot of uh, advanced manufacturing design, we find a lot of problems, and a lot of problems we can trace back uh, to the fundamental material science. So that drives us to understand better about the processing microstructure property relationships. And uh, now we are better in the position we're holding the tools of both simulation and experiments to solve all of these uh, challenges.